bloody ridiculous, man. Have a little listen to this thing. Do you know what's funny with this car? The, the warm starts are probably better than the cold starts. Listen to this. Let's, under the window. The whole car just sort of rumbles and rattles. Uh, but yeah, let's just, uh, let's hit the road. Let's get on it. Let's get on it. Get that front camera on. We don't need fuel for a change, which is amazing. We've got half a tank, which is about 70 or 80 miles in our six time um, so well, let's talk about, what was we talking about? Edition 30, that's what we're doing today. We're going to pick up the Edition 30. So I obviously bought it in as a bit of a banger and it needed a bit of TLC or a lot of TLC. And um, yeah, going to pick it up at long last. And I actually wanted one for a long time and I just never came across the right one. And when I come across this one, I thought that is a perfect car um, to, to buy, do as a bit of a project and get on my channel. And it's kind of, sort of, um, it's a bit of a win-win for me because I kind of get to buy a car and sell it and obviously earn money out of it. So for business, it's good. And then secondly, for content, I've, uh, I get to film the process of getting it done. And then, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's good content as well. So, um, yeah, uh, you probably noticed as well, something else you might have noticed is I've got a, a road sweeper type thing in front of me. It's not on it at all, but it can't be because it's not a fast thing. But yes, something else you might have noticed is I'm doing a lot of projects on my channel at the minute. But for that exact reason, they do go hand in hand. It's good for me to buy and sell cars. A lot of people love the whole car trade subject, don't they? And, uh, you know, get them on my channel and, and film the process. It's, it's all exciting stuff. So, yeah. Um, do I need to talk any more about um, Edition 30 right now? I think what I want to quickly show you is put the RS6 in in my individual mode. Just listen to this car, man. <laughs> it is... <laughs> Clever people watching will be wondering, well, Calvin, you're driving your RS6 to VRS, and you're swapping over, and you're collecting the Golf Edition 30, and you're driving that back. So, how are you going to get the RS6 back, or why is the RS6 staying at VRS? Well, I'm going to answer that in the next video, right? That's not going to be answered in this video. I'm actually filming two videos today, and that video is going to be up after this one, all right? So, uh, we'll get to VRS, we'll do Edition 30 talk today, and we'll worry about the RS6 stuff in the next video, all right? I'll see you in a bit. Oh, another thing, just quickly, if you're wondering why, like, got car cologne just swinging around. If I go like that. Swinging around like a ball bag in my window there. That is how I keep my car smelling fresh, and they're getting a well-deserved shout out, because I've got them in all of my cars. They're not paying me to do this. Nick of Car Cologne is on it. He's running a business from home, full-time. He's got a family, and he sells air fresheners for cars. So I'm gonna put a link for them in the description below, because one, Nick is proper sound, and two, he does a bloody good job of his business, all right? So yeah, I'll put a link for that in the description below. Let's get to VRS. Uh, up in the spot like a spotlight Hit the block like a hammer chasing knots Like it'll disappear if I don't get my pockets right You ain't gotta be a fan, my AC is nice Let me do what I be doing, Black I ain't playing, I be on it, I get to it, Black Never stationary, bars stay in motion They be like, hey, Sony, oh, you slick Your middle name, Lotion? Your middle name, Potion? You be so focused We be rooting for you, dog. so just go Got the board. And my edition 30. So uh, obviously, obviously, cosmetically, it's Yeah, got it all going on here. Uh, yeah, cosmetically, it's still, it's obviously still the same. We've not had no body work done yet. It still needs a bloody good clean. I've got the key here. Uh, there you go. Uh, interior is still filthy as well. But um, 
mechanically it's spot on so we'll go see what Will's saying about it yeah right Will should we uh, we'll get the bonnet open for this section of the video yeah yeah oh look is, is that Aaron's van is it truck yeah I'll hold the door for you yeah, it's touching that <laughs> it'd, it'd be going mental wouldn't it Right. Look at that. It's a bit nicer than it was before. Much better looking under there, isn't it? Yeah, it's loads better. So, um, if we just run through what we've done mm -hmm. quickly, mm -hmm. and you can sort of see what. Obviously, um, we're not done anything to the exhaust system on the car. So yeah. it's currently got a three inch TIG welded exhaust. Really nice exhaust, actually, so I can't fault that. Cool, because I said about changing the exhaust to go yeah. back to stock. And I was like, nah, leave nah. that. <laughs> okay, yeah, cool. nah, it's, really, really, it's a real nice exhaust, so Wicked. like I say, we left that. Mm -hmm. It's already had a few things done, so it's had a new PCV on it, mm -hmm. and it's had the core packs and plugs, etc. So obviously, it's a stage two plus car, mm -hmm. and it's got a runner flap delete as well. Okay. So runner flaps here. Your, uh, your flaps inside your that manifold that open and close and they're getting away the air. Okay. So they've been removed previously. It's been mapped by Nikki Artec. Mm -hmm. um, we've had the car in the dyno since we've done all the work. Mm -hmm. the map's absolutely spot on. Oh yeah, really? Yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah. Okay. So That's good to know. There's no point me trying to better that. So oh, it's, it's, it's really good. So yeah. not many tuners will say that, but yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. credit where credit's up, due. So. Fair play, man. Um, when we got it in, obviously there's a few bits that weren't quite right. So we've put a new intake on. Mm -hmm. um, so that's got the, you know, it's a three and a half inch intake. The last on one was rough, wasn't it, man? Yeah, it was, it was like, really bad. It was really moving and everything, wasn't it? It's like you said, you know, if you come to sell this car, you want it to be right. Mm. So what we've done is put it so that it is right for the next next person. Sounds. The DV had a plastic collar missing, which meant it was leaking. Uh -huh. So we put a new DV, we changed the bolts as well. Yeah. Um, the gearbox has been out, so I'd New clutch, oh, clutch, new clutch plate. The cover yeah. was okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the clutch plate wasn't, and the flywheel wasn't. Mm -hmm. and basically, the the input shaft of the gearbox had a load of movement in it. Mm -hmm. What happens is, when that gets movement, it sticks, and then it, it just wear, it wears the clutch plate and causes all sorts of havoc. Basically, oh, so wow. the gearbox has been stripped. It's had new bearings, yeah. a new end cap that was leaking. Like so it's all been put back together. New oil, everything. And that's been repaired. New that clutch plate, new flywheel, new flywheel bolts. Um, Bloody was, hell, man! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, the rock cover gasket was leaking, and this end plate, although it wasn't leaking, there was lots of oil underneath it. So, if it's had new seals, the timing chain when we took the plate off, the yeah. chain was sagging. Mm -hmm. It's really common on these for the chain from the exhaust cam, which is driven by the cam belt, to the inlet cam. There's a tensioner, and basically they wear, they lose the tension, and they it rattles. So that's been done. Okay. You know, cool. all these jobs has been all these little jobs that you made the car about. really nice. Like you know, even even all this is this is already done. You know, normally this breaks off the dipstick here mm -hmm. where the O-ring is, and they, they suck air in and cause problems with the airflow meter reading. Yeah, that's yeah. already that was already done oh, before right. it came in. But little things like so that you had, know about, you've checked. Yeah, it all, no, I've checked. Good. I've checked through everything. It's mm. all good. Even so, we took the obviously we took it out of the fuel pump bucket. Yeah. Although it's been replaced recently, it worn through. Oh, right. So, um, well, it's not worn through, it's gone through the black DLC coating, so it's had a brand new one of those in there as well. Uh, the fuel pump's been checked and cleaned, mm -hmm. uh, everything's been put back together, wicked. you know. Um, we dynoed it and made 368. Oh, wicked. That's so, power, isn't it? Yeah, really that, good. That's pretty good, yeah. So, um, it's had a new rock cover gasket as well. Uh, all this has been cleaned down. Bloody so, you've done loads of little bits on it, haven't you? Yeah, I've done absolutely loads on it. So obviously um, the car drives really nice now. Drives yeah, really nice. Yeah, just need to get so, all the little oh, it's had a rear wheel bearing as well because you said there was oh, a rumbling. Making a horrible so the near side move. rear wheel bearing. That um, done as well. Yeah, that's been done as well. So uh, oh. new ball joint this side, new ball joint nuts. Um, Everything else has been checked over. You know, the car's a good car. Man, so. you've gone over the whole car, haven't you? Yeah, no, it's good. I mean, when you drive it now, this is going to be so different. Really? To how you brought it in, yeah. Oh, wicked. If it's not, then I It will be, I know. It will. <laughs> you so, no, it'll be really... Oh, and the, um, the secondary Lambda kept coming with a fault. Oh, you did about that? Yeah, well, yeah, so and there was a fuse missing out of the fuse box, which is for the secondary Lambda. So, um, although they don't use it, mm -hmm. if he doesn't see it, Mm -hmm. So obviously the fuse has been taken out. I don't know why. Reason, or it's just someone's borrowed it to put in somewhere else where a fuse is blown. Yeah. And not you. put it back in. But we just put a fuse in it and that, that fault's gone now. Oh, so right. hopefully that'll stay away. So there wasn't actually anything wrong with it. Looks like someone just borrowed a fuse. So, yeah, yeah. You know. So that's it really. Sound, it's gonna draw I'm looking forward to getting out of it man. So uh, Yeah, it should be really good. See what the journey home's like. Yeah, it should be good mate. Job done, thanks mate. Cool. Bad there, the bill, the bill. 
Uh, I mean, it needs uh, readjusting them to make sure you're all good. You're not really, are you? You're on the uh, piece a little bit, ain't you? That's better. Listen to the noise this car makes on cold start. This is actually gonna be the first time I've ever like driven this car properly when it's been working. So it's, uh, it's gonna be an interesting journey home and it's it's not rush out quite yet. But yeah, let me just, we'll hit the road and we'll see what it's like, all right? or something uh, <laughs> but it's proper lost the words lost the words and I I'm actually lost the words sick car absolutely sick car I don't know what else to say it's shocking you get I say it all the time 368 bhp you get into a car and you think is it even gonna be that quick Trust me, if anyone got in the driver's seat of this car today, you, any one of you would be absolutely shocked how quick it is. And I've just had a little pull there. Like, I've not had a lot of fun in it yet. It is like a bit of a busy time to be doing this and I'm about to get on the M1, which ain't the best road to have your first tear up in a car that you've just picked up after. Listen to the bangs between the gears. It's got like um, <laughs> that sort of, that's the fucking, that's a bad, bad example, isn't it? Front wheels are just spinning constantly. Yeah, it's, um, it's a savage little car, and it's kind of what I expected. Like, is that a, is that a good thing to say? It's just nice, you know. It's what I wanted. I wanted a front wheel drive, manual, um, two wheel drive, even. That's third gear. That's third gear. And it's putting it like that. Obviously, you can't see what a car is doing through a camera, but I think you can get a good idea or a good feeling through that camera how this car is delivering power. There's no... <laughs> there's no lag, there's no messing around. It is just on point. And there, yeah, that is exactly what you want. It's a four cylinder engine, two liter, single turbo, and... Absolutely mental. So you can see the level of work the wheel's done on this car. Uh, some people think it's mental to buy, or I keep using the word mental, it is mental. Who, who buy a bloody old car and spend loads of money on it and it looks like a banger, it's done 131,000 miles. But I see potential in this car when I bought it and I thought that is going to be a nice car when it's done. So mechanically right now, it's got heated seats as well by the way, nice touch that isn't it. Mechanically it is now perfect, yeah, spot on how good it pulls in third gear that's stop doing that because um yeah we we almost went over 50 mile an hour then we're in the 50 mile an hour speed limit but yeah mechanically it's good obviously i've done a lot to it and i kind of just said to will will you know these cars and he does he bloody knows this engine inside out he's been tuning vw's and audis for a long time this is obviously the earlier engine um as in like it's not the the latest two litre four cylinder VW engine that's out. It's been around for a few years. He's tuned and done bits to a hell of a lot, hell of a lot of these engines, so he does know his way around one uh, extremely well, as you can tell by the way he talks about them. But uh, he's done loads of work to it. The cost, the cost, how much would it cost you if you took your car to wheel a VRS and got all of these bits done? Now there is a lot of stuff involved there. Uh, gearbox had to come out, a lot of labor involved. Uh, he done me a, an amazing deal, but the cost to get all of this done is £2,800 with VAT, all right? I paid £3,300 for this car, and it still needs loads of bodywork doing. So uh, the end result will probably mean that will be that I'll, I'll have to advertise this car for about £7,000, because bodywork, it needs a hell of a lot. It's got rusty, four rusty arches, I think front end needs realigning i think i need to buy a new grill and the wheels look like they need refurbing as well but the end 
the end car would be a nice clean example of a three door candy white Golf GTI Edition 30 with a manual gearbox. So it'll be a nice car. It has done 130,000 miles, which actually on the current market with these cars, or generally with these cars, that a lot of them have done a lot of miles because it's, it's a VW Golf. A lot of people drive them um, like as a daily car. So it's not, it's not a shock to see one with that mileage. And I said before, they pretty much start at about 6,000 pounds on like Auto Trader and eBay. And uh, for that, you get one with this, this kind of mileage. So, at seven grand, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know how much I'm gonna end up spending on paintwork, we'll just see, I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna be daily driving this car now because the RS6 is at VRS and you're gonna find out, like I said earlier, why it's at VRS in my next video. Uh, but I am gonna end it here, it's getting dark. I've been at VRS all day today. It's been a bit of a mission, but I filmed two pretty good videos. I'm glad to have the Edition 30 back. Uh, I will be filming the sort of the final video on this to show you what it looks like when the bodywork's been done. That's going to happen immediately. I don't want to mess around. I want to get it done and get it up for sale and get my money back out of it as soon as I can. All right. So um, thanks for watching. Oh, I hope you like this video. I'll obviously put the links for VRS in the description below. They're also on Instagram. I'll put a link to VRS's Instagram below as well. If you want to get your car, your your Mark V Golf tuned, or get anything done to it, I'd obviously highly recommend them. All right. Um, done yeah i think i'm done if you like the video hit like if you're new hit subscribe and i'll see you in my next video <laughs> this car is bloody ridiculous man oh my god i don't know if you've ever done that before you can, i'm sorry i'll just cut in here i thought i'd quickly cut in because I, it's dark and uh, i don't know I, uh, I just didn't feel like I'd showed you enough of this car and um <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> it's ridiculous this car man so sometimes when you go and pick up a car I don't know if you've ever experienced this and you drive the whole journey home on the motorway and then when you get off the motorway because you've been driving like just chilling on the motorway just doing like normal like fifth sixth gear or whatever uh low rev sort of driving and then you get off the motorway and you get you think oh my god i get to feel the power now and as soon as i got off the motorway i was shocked so i was like oh, this guy is proper quick so i thought i just quickly quit, quickly switch the camera on and just give you a little taste of what it's like bear in mind also when this car goes up south i'm sort of i spoke about it and i compared it to um you can see me all right can't you because it is a bit dark i compared it to uh stock cars on the market and obviously this is going to be a tuned car so it will give it a bit more value and a bit more demand all right so we'll see i'll be quite honest with you when i sell it i'll let you know what i sold it for and uh I'll, it'll just be interesting to see if i make a profit on it all right so yeah i'm done now i'm gonna uh say goodbye again see you later in the next episode of calvin's car diary um well basically i've got something to tell you about the rs6 that video is going to be live on Wednesday at 6 o'clock.